Here's the f kid. A Seguin police officer resigns from the force after using a stun gun on a teenager. She is the same officer who weeks earlier gave a courtesy ride to a man who was later hit and killed while walking on I-10. As the night team's Dylan Collier reports, the personnel file on Suzanne Gonzalez shows an officer with a history of problems not always in control of her emotions, yet remaining on the job. It's tonight's Defenders investigation. <laughs> When Officer Suzanne Gonzalez pulled up to a home on April 16th for a call for suspicious people on a roof, a black kid right there is all mouthy. it didn't take long for things between her and a group of teenagers to escalate out of control. You shut up. You shut the f up. You scary, right? You scary. The heated dispute happened off camera, but audio of it was captured on Gonzalez's body-worn microphone. Even after being told by a supervisor to step away and compose herself, Gonzalez continued to confront the teens, culminating with her using her taser on one of them. Don't talking to me like this. Keep talking. I know, it's funny. I know. Gonzalez placed on leave after the incident. Her captain recommended she be terminated. Seguin Police Chief Kevin Kelso later settling on a six-day suspension. Gonzalez resigned at the end of May as her suspension came to a close. This wasn't an officer having one bad day. Records confirm this type of behavior from Gonzalez at scenes was not unusual, like in June 2017 when she challenged an out of control child to hit her and told his parents that, quote, they needed to whip his expletive. The parents called 911 and requested another officer be sent. Two months later, Gonzalez told a driver she pulled over, quote, you may get away with disrespecting your wife like that, but you are not going to disrespect me that way. During a meeting with Kelso about the altercation weeks later, Gonzalez was distraught, not in control of her emotions, and was ordered to go through counseling for her behavior. This March, after being disciplined seven previous times, she received another written reprimand. After Gonzalez responded to an assault call in January for a nine-year-old whose mother was intoxicated and wanted to kill her, her superiors had trouble following up on the case because Gonzalez had been tired that night and did not finish her report. For the defenders, Dylan Collier. Oh, I know so. Oh, I do know. KSAT 12 News. Gonzalez did not respond to a request for a comment for this story. Her former department released a statement that reads in part, quote, it is important to note that not all performance incidents were major in nature. However, some were more concerning, which was met with appropriate discipline and corrective actions. Appropriately, the Seguin Police Department parted ways with Officer Gonzalez as soon as it was deemed appropriate to do so, end quote.